For comparison's sake, this is my main file here that says brick and it says 84%, and I'm pretty sure there's only one item inside of a stage that I didn't collect on that file, and the reason I didn't collect it is because it's really, really deep into a really hard stage and you have to get it with Richter with a certain sub-weapon, and F that noise. Uh, welcome back to CVDXC, this is... Stage 4 Prime. I mean, we unlocked it. You might as well play it. Uh, stage 4 Prime has some pretty cool secrets in it. Uh, one of my favorite levels as far as secrets go. One of my least favorite levels as far as obnoxious monsters, as we will see very, very early in this stage. <laughs> uh, it also has one of the most well-hidden alternate paths. This was the last alternate path that I found in the game. Uh... So we got frogs! Yep, it's frog times. And there are frogs everywhere, and the frogs all hurt you, and the frogs are all bastards. I didn't even realize there were frogs down in the water until I played the stage a couple of times. I'm like, what's hitting me down there in the water? It's frogs. It's frog times. You gotta get used to it. Also, there are holes down there. Be careful. Those staircases go over bottomless pits. Alright, so the hard part of the stage is behind us now. Now, know these little frog statues that we're uncovering here. I mean, we're not uncovering them. They were already uncovered to begin with. So, we can see an area down beneath us that we can see but not reach. Like, we can't drop through this platform. And if you look very closely, you can see secret stairs right underneath us that go down below the screen. So, what is the haps? Whoa. No, no, no. Come here. Come here. There we go. The haps is we have to say a prayer at the statue of frogs. We need to take this poisonous frog here. I assume he's poisonous because he has more vivid colors than the other frogs in the level. And he will follow us. We'll clear the path of Skellingmans. No, no, no! He's gonna kill my frog! Oh, he killed my frog. Oh, that's too bad. Now I have to do the roll of shame. Alright, you know what? Here we go. We'll just jump down this hole. And fall into the aqueduct and drown. I'm sure, Maria, you will find plenty of frogs to play with down in the aqueduct. In fact, just to add insult to injury there, it actually scrolls the screen down one level to show you drowning in the aqueduct. You don't just fall off the bottom of the screen if you jump into that hole. It actually scrolls down. Because I guess there's nothing really to knock you into that hole. Like, if you, if you fall into that hole, it's kind of your own fault. Alright, we want you to come along. Come along, my friend. We'll have Biako take care of the Skelling Mans in front of us. And this frog will take his rightful place amongst his frog god brethren. Gorgeous. And now that that's happened, we can roll back and our path will be open, like so. Uh, was there something interesting in this candle over here? Let's go check. I mean, I guess there was either a big heart or a cat. I'm not sure which. If you pick, if you op unopen a heart that ha has a sub weapon you've already opened, it will uh, give you a big heart instead. And that's actually there's some strategy to that in Castlevania Symphony of the Night. If you play as Maria, here's some more of these crystal walls. What am I even gonna do with those, man? Uh, because Maria can carry two sub weapons in that game, and you can swap between them with a button. So if you find a, one of the two sub-weapons you already have, you can swap it to your alternate slot, then pick up the old, the duplicate sub-weapon, it'll turn into a big heart. It's okay. I'm Maria. Maria Renard. I'm here to save you, miss. Saved by a little girl? Uh, I'm sorry. My name is Iris. Thank you for saving me. Iris is, I call her the librarian because she looks like a librarian, but I guess she's Wait actually a, a doctor. Well, she's not huh? technically a doctor. I mean, you'll see what I mean Let here me in a see second. Your arm. Okay. I thought so. You're injured. No, it's just a frog bite. Really? I'm fine. Oh, believe me. If we don't treat that right now, you're looking at infection and then putrefaction. I knew that frog was what? poisonous. Well, well, what do we do? We have to amputate. <laughs> I'm joking. Here. What a Just horrible joke that is! My father's a doctor. <laughs> Super funny. You have cancer. You'll die in six months. Lol, gotcha. There you are. 
you go. All better. <laughs> so she's a librarian, but her father's a doctor, so she knows how to no problem. treat injured Here, arms. Let me give you this too. So then she gives us a this, which is something Just that we'll need. Just a good luck charm to help keep you safe. It feels powerful. Well, oh boy. See you. So Iris's charm lets us get through those crystal walls. And if you ever go back into any of the rooms that have the maidens in them, they're all chock full of goodies. Oh, the egg. Should I show off the egg? I guess we'll show off the egg because that's what it does. I don't get the point of the egg. It's not a very useful sub-weapon, as far as I can tell. I just stepped off into the water, didn't I? I totally did. Well, that happened. Uh, I mean, there are crystal walls down there to break, and it's another vinyl record that you can collect. That's one of the secrets. I mean, they're just showing you can break the crystal walls now, but... I mean, you guys will take my word for it, right? I don't have to do the whole frog thing and go back down and show you. It was funny drowning Maria twice in this level. We've kind of reached the uh, we've kind of reached the the limit on comedy that is obtainable by drowning Maria repeatedly in the aqueduct. So we won't have to do that again. This is one of those screens that you just roll because nothing. There's no monsters in your way. Skeletons will jump out at you from behind trees, and there will be flying flea men right there that they'll get dropped on us, but. She just trivializes the whole screen by just rolling past everything. I'm sure that screen is hell if you're playing as Richter, because you've got to stop and deal with every single Flea Man and every single Skellington, and I'm sure it's not super fun. Uh, it's boss fight time. Woo! So, I really, really, really embarrassed myself on this boss a minute ago when I played him in the last video. Let's see if I can redeem myself now. Nothing in that wall. Uh, I do have cats, so I can attack him from back here. Because there's a book in that candle up there, but actually retrieving that book during the battle is very difficult. Now he's up top again. I don't know that I want him up there. Oh, I didn't duck. Mm. Again, I didn't duck. Again with this mess. Oh, this is bad. Okay, he's going to go around in circles. Shoots. I sh juked left, I should have juked right. Because it kind of tracks to your position and then just starts orbiting around you. Oh, rest zero. This is my last life. If I don't beat him this time, this part, this half of the video ends in absolute shame. Shame on my house, dishonor on my cow, etc. Horrible, horrible night to have a curse. I really should try to get that book, I guess. No, why did I do that? Oh, no. Oh, Dullahan's making a fool out of me. Oh, my God. I'm getting greedy. I'm trying to get that Guardian Fist out there. But... I wasn't expecting the last Ice Spike. That last Ice Spike, I mean... What can you do? Except not walking to ice spikes. I mean, there's that. So to get to the secret area of stage 4 prime, we have to feel the fury of the Aqueduct River Rapids ride. Uh, I don't think Maria is technically tall enough to ride this ride, but look at all the treasures that we get. <laughs> this nice treasure bird comes down. Oh, and then we have guys behind us who, uh... You know, there's always the guy at the theme park who wants to cut the line, like... Who thinks that, like, riding in the front seat of the roller coaster is more exciting. And he's right, but he doesn't have to be a jerk about it. I don't know if those skeletons will actually attack you, because I've gone quite a long time in this level with a skeleton riding behind me, and, like, nothing bad happened, so maybe they just chill back there. Uh, I think this is more of, like, a like a bonus level than an actual alternate path stage. Like, I, 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 I suppose you get to this point in the game, and you're like, there's no 5 Prime anyway, so let's just give them a little fun River Rapids section. Other Castlevania games have River Rapids sections. Oh, there is the Troll Death Hole at the end, though. Right there. 
Don't double jump, by the way. If you double jump there, you'll jump into that bird, and then the bird will knock you into the aqueduct. And we've already drowned in that aqueduct like 12 times. Here we are at the end of the rainbow. And crystal walls are breakable now. If you didn't believe me, you believe me now. I was trying to dance in between all those bones, and it just wasn't happening for me. Just wasn't happening. Bats, bats, bats. So this level, you actually need to give up your sub-weapon at this point, because you need this key to win the level. That's what happens if you item crash with a key. You just do this twirly, huh? What? Hmm, okay. And the door's open now. So this is back on the bottom path of stage 4 prime, which means we will fight uh, Carmilla again. And we won't get the no damage clear this time, unfortunately, because we took damage in the level. Like, I think a toad licked me at one point. Which is too bad, but... As I mentioned, fighting Carmilla doesn't actually do anything yet because there's no stage 5 prime. Uh, I guess they forgot to program it or something. I guess there was a stage 5 prime in the original game, and I don't know what the deal is now. Woo! A little close for comfort there, Succubus. Uh, once again, she won't actually attack us. She'll just jump over our heads. Boom! Come on back. She's a much more difficult boss than Symphony of the Night. I mean, that's not actually true, because in Symphony of the Night, Alucard has way more uh, ways of dealing with bosses than just regular attacks. Once again, Purple Orb. Maniacal Laughter. Foreboding Shadow. We don't get to go to Stage 5 Prime. This is my sad face. Shoutouts to Super Skabot for sponsoring this video, and to everybody who makes my channel possible by supporting me on Patreon.